Hi, welcome and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step on how to remove the hard drive. The reason of removing the hard drive is I would like to clone the original hard drive over to this SSD drive. And I'll give you a brief description of what is going on in this Lenovo computer. So this is about three, four years old and the computer performance starting to decrease. And every time when you try to double click to execute a file, you, you will see the spinning wheel going around and around. And it takes a few seconds before actually something comes up. So I run a test on it that found out the hard drive has bad sector on a disk. The bad sector would actually cause the computer to slow down. And this is when I would like to do a video on how to remove the hard drive and then install with this brand new SSD drive. Now, um, on a separate note, I have a separate video on how to clone the regular hard drive over to the SSD drive. I won't be showing you in this video here. This video is strictly just to remove the hard drive, uh, but I'll have the link in the description below where it direct you to how to clone from a regular hard drive to an SSD drive. You might want to watch that because if you do follow along with this video by replacing the old hard drive with the SSD drive for the performance, then you would like to uh, clone the hard drive over to keep all your programs, the windows, the settings, the data, everything you would like to clone it over to this brand new SSD drive. All right, so that is enough talking, enough intro. Um, get back to here. This is a Lenovo IdeoPad 320. It's a 17 inch. So it's kind of like big and off the camera a little bit, but I'll try to move it around so that at least you can fu still fully see the entire process. Now, um, obviously the first thing you need to do is to have a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, looks like all these screws at the bottom here is screwed in by a Phillips screw. And the screw size are pretty much the same. In fact, they are all the same. Uh, so you can mix match them, doesn't really have to be specific on how to put it back. I'm using an electric screwdriver. Uh, as you can see, there are plenty of screw screws to remove. And imagine if I have to do like 5, 10 computers a day, and there would be a lot of twist and turn on a manual screwdriver. So I bought myself an electric screwdriver here. I got it for about $20 on Amazon. Uh, so far it's been good. I like it and if you're interested to use one of these, if you're a gadget guy, you know a lot of uh, you need to use your tools a lot then check out the description. You, I'll, I'll have it so that you can link to Amazon and buy that buy this thing. Uh, this is not a sponsor so Sorry if I talk a lot good stuff about this because uh, I feel like it really helps me throughout the day. Alright, so far so good. I have removed all the screws. The next step I like to try to do is to remove the back cover. Oops, it looks like let's try to separate on the other side. Okay. Let me bring some of the tools. So try not to stick all the way in. Uh, you do not want to damage the internal parts like the motherboard or anything. You try not to scratch them. So I'm using a plastic prying tool. Uh, what I'm doing is running a cloth across the plastic and that way is just to uh, uh, separate the clipper I can, so that I can easily pry open the back cover. Alright, so once you have that cover removed, here you can see the entire computer. Um, it's pretty empty, right? So. Here is the battery. If you want to change out the battery, you can do that as well. Uh, it looks like there's only three screws holding onto the battery. One, two, and three. And you know what? Since we have some time, 
I'm going to show you how to do that. So there's one screw here, second screw. <laughs> I should rename my title. Instead of a hard drive remove, I should name it as hard drive and battery removal. So three screws and now the batteries come loose but you need to disconnect the cable. This cable right here, the connector, you can just slide it down. Uh, it doesn't have any secure security clip or anything. You just pull it down towards your body, it will slide out and that's how you remove the battery. Now if your battery is not holding the charge, meaning that the battery dies off very quickly, then more likely is the battery problem. If you want to look up the model number here, it's L16M. 2PB1. Alright, so another way to tell if the battery is good or bad is if you see the battery has a lump on it, uh, that means it's bad. But this one is flat like this, so it's okay. Alright, so the next step, um, if you want to upgrade the RAM, I think you can. This is a 4GB RAM. You can upgrade it to 8GB if you want. So to, to uh, remove the RAM, I just push the two little side clipper away from each other. It will pop open the RAM. Now this RAM here runs on a PC4, meaning that it's the DDR4 RAM. You can upgrade it to maybe 8 or 16. Uh, but I think this computer here can go up to 16. Uh, just You have to just buy one 16 gigs of RAM slot. Okay, unfortunate, only one slot is available. Here is actually your CPU uh, fan. If you want to replace the fan, you can. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just disconnect the connector, disconnect this, uh, remove this screw right here. Okay, and you can just replace the fan. Now let's get back to the main topic. Like I said, we tried to uh, uh, remove the hard drive. The hard drive is slowing things down. Let me go ahead and install the RAM. Install the battery. We'll just leave it up for now. Okay. Uh, how do I remove this one? Does it have anything that holds on to it? Uh, doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like there's any screw that's hold holding down to the hard drive. Uh, it just kind of like uh, uh, a rubber to slide it in so to install you just have to slide it into the connector first and then push the back end down uh, to remove it you lift the back end first and then slide it to your left to remove it now this is the hard drive 2.5 inch like I said it's a spinning hard drive more likely the um, the hard drive has bad sector on the disk and this is where it slow things down and I'll be using the SSD drive here and this is 512 uh, I think the data here is about um, I think it was about 180 gigabytes so you can go with the 256 a smaller one um, but I have the 512 why not okay I'll be using the 512 and um, yeah so check out a, a different video that I made uh, is strictly for cloning purpose uh, I show you on how to clone the regular hard drive over to the SSD drive um, so that I can keep all my Windows data and programs everything the same. Now for those of you who wants to start fresh, uh, brand new install Windows and no data whatsoever, you can actually start installing the uh, SSD drive into here and you need to get the uh, Windows 10 installer bootable uh, thumb drive uh, you can actually buy it from Amazon but the computer itself it comes with Windows 10's license already so you do not actually need to buy a separate license for that you can actually go to Microsoft website um, you know just look it up on YouTube on how to make a bootable USB Windows 10 installer disk now um, you do just so you know you actually need to transfer the uh, bracket here to that new drive okay you can't just install your SSD drive like this it will be wobbly and drop so you actually need to open up this hard drive holder the bracket and then install it onto the SSD all right so I think I have enough talking over here um, if you have any question just comment below 
and if you like this video and if you feel like this helpful uh, on the on the step-by-step -step tutorial please give me a like button I do appreciate you for supporting my channel and the same time you can check out other videos um, I always try to post it up here uh, at least you know one or two videos a week so thanks again for staying with me and I wish you all the best in your repair good luck and take care bye